What is good, Dev God? It's your boy K. And guess what? I'm back with another tutorial. I know, it's just like yesterday I seen you motherfuckers, man. Shit. Uh, today we're going to get into something that I really had a hard time finding the answer. I spent like three days finding the answer to this. And now that I have the answer, I want to share it with you guys. What I want to do is set up a parent switch with my weapon bone so that it can follow one hand or the other. Or it can follow the world. But the one thing that I ran into is how to actually make it a switch. And today we're going to get into that. So let's just go right into it. You know, we about to do this raw, baby. We're just raw dogging it. Raw dogging it, baby. Um, so yeah, I got this... Uh, I got this bone right here. It's a weapon L. I want to set it up to where it'll follow this hand right here. And it'll follow this hand right here, right? So there's tutorials out there that teach you how to do things like this, like a space switcher or a parent transform switcher. And they'll they'll tell you to to use the uh the copy transform. Uh where is that? Copy transform. And you gotta create three different, but you gotta create a control bone. A mechanism bone and that just seems like a lot of work when all I want to do is have this weapon be parented to this bone right here or this bone right here and that it I found a lot simpler way to set it up and it's it's very intuitive and it still works the exact same way and it gives you more freedom because when you copy a transform you kind of stuck at that transform so the one thing that I was running into when I was using that copy transform technique is say I had this parented to this bone, the there would be a uh, a mechanism bone that's parented to this bone, and if I want to move this bone, I had to move this bone separate from that mechanism bone. So I would be moving this right, but the mechanism bone would still be parented to the hand, and if I want to switch the mechanism bone over here, it would mess the complete transform up like it would mess up the end the entire transform and that was just a problem for me i don't want to have to keep setting keys to offset the transform so i found a different way to do it and it's just by doing a uh, a couple of parent of or child of constraints so i'm gonna go ahead and get those in there you just select the bone make sure you impose mode you go to uh, bone constraints and you set up a couple of child of constraints I'm gonna call this weapon follow follow left hand. And we can copy this. We can say weapon follows right hand. And you just wanna go in here, choose your uh, your rig and look for the bone that you want this, this uh, weapon to be parented to or to be a child of. If you follow my tutorial on how to to rig up some first person arms with uh rigify, then just pick this bone right here. Um, if you pick the FK bone, it won't work that well, uh, because th th it just pick this bone. All right, I can't explain why it won't work. It, I just tested it out and it won't work. But um, yeah, so pick this bone and pick the right hand bone to follow the right hand, and. The thing that's going to be actually switching is this influence right here. So, so say I had uh, this here. Well, if I had this here right here, this is following that. And if I turn this off, it'll follow this. So what we want to do is basically toggle these, right? So now... The good thing about Blender is that you can set up a uh, custom property on the bone. That way, when you have this bone selected, this custom property will show up in the graph editor and you can edit it inside of the graph editor. Uh, so what we're gonna do is add a custom property. You're gonna come here, hit edit. We're gonna call this a uh, weapon space uh, L and then here you have to set this value to one point uh, to one, not one point oh, because it'll make it a floating point. So what we want to do is set the default the default value to one because we want this to be parented to this hand, like off the bat. 
and we can set a, a min and max of zero and two because we're, we know we have two sets of space switches. And so zero would be no space. It'll be just world space. Uh, one would be this hand space and two would be this hand space over here. So you want to make sure this over, over uh, library overridable. That way, if you link this rig into another file, you can adjust. You can adjust this and key this. And I'm not gonna fill out the tool, the tool tip because I know what weapon space L is. But you can just add a little tool tip. Uh, I could just say switches parent base, and you'll see what that does. Just hit OK, and now you see when we select this bone, we get a little properties tab. We hover over it, hover, it says switches parent space. That's what the tool tip is for. And now we're gonna right click and copy this as a driver. Copy that as a new driver. And you wanna to go to your bone constraints and just go in here and paste, uh, paste driver. So now this value is being controlled by this property right here. So you see if I put it on zero, it goes to zero. I put it on one, it goes to one. And we can do the same for this property too, because we want these to toggle themselves off. So paste driver, right? So now uh, if you haven't created a window, create a new window right here. That's your um, underneath your uh, viewport and just go to drivers. And you wanna click on the driver, weapon follow L, weapon follows L hand. Uh, press in inside of here so you can bring up the uh, like the little tool tab in here and go to your drivers tab and you want to change this from average to scripted expression and this my friends is where the magic happens this is where you put the code and and uh this is completely different from houdini because in houdini you can put an if statement you can say if this value is not equal to this to whatever value then set it to this value but in here uh, since this is a one or a zero, so the influences of true or false, we can just check if this is equal to one. And if this value is equal to one, this value will be one because it'll pass true. And true on on a bit scale is zero, or uh, true is one on the bit scale of zero or one, and false is zero. I'm sorry, I might have fucked that up. Zero is false. One is true. That's all you need to know. Um, but yeah, so now if we if we uh, open up this panel and we change this to any number other than one, this turns off. And we can do the same thing for uh, we can do the same thing for this one, but we want to say if this number is equal to two. And what do I get right here? Oh, I don't have it on scripted expression. Sorry. We got to change this to a uh, scripted expression. And we want to say if this number here is equal to two. So now you see this turns off because it's not equal to two. So both are, both are off on zero. That's no parent, no parent. That means nothing will drive that hand. Um, I mean that weapon. If we go to one, we have this hand driving it. And if we go to two we have oh whoops we have this hand driving it so there you go you got a, a parent's space switch right there and now you can go inside of your graph editor and you can key this property whatever it is so and since since it's a constant you want to make sure that your frames like the the frame in between where you switch is less than is like one. So if I set this, like let's just set this right here. I just cut put one right here, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like if you don't do it on less than one. And then we'll go bring this to one, and we'll key this as well. You see what this it turn it, it's a constant, um, constant interpolation. So. This will turn to one, it, like not when you say you want it to be one, but a weird ass place. So you want to set it to one, uh, to to zero, up until the point where you actually want to key it to one. So just to keep that switch smooth. But yeah, man.
that's how we do it right there, baby. We getting better at these tutorials, man. Uh, but yeah, that's a, that's a, sw a space switch, and it's fluid. Uh, it works. And if you have any problems, hit me up in the comments, man. Uh, leave a like, a subscribe. My subscriber has been going up pretty quickly. I remember I was at like 100, and now I'm at 150, man. I appreciate y'all for, for stopping by and, and fucking with your boy, man. Shit, dog. Hey. But yeah, I'm, 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 like I said, I appreciate y'all. And I'll see you on the next video.